Lawmakers in the Green Chamber react to a publication in the public space allegedly linked to the National Youth Service Corps, suggesting that Corps members should prepare to pay ransom if they are kidnapped. This is the pamphlet that they are using everywhere. And the section 65 is, the heading is advisory trips to minimize being victims of kidnappers or hostage takers. 65, he says, when traveling in a high-risk roads such as Abuja, Kaduna, Abuja, Lokoja, Okene, or Aba, Aba, Potakot roads, then alert your family members, friends, and colleagues in order to have someone on hand to pay off the ransom that could be demanded. The Committee on Youth Development is then saddled with the responsibility of investigating the matter. In the meantime, the House is unhappy with the Senate on the handling of bills emanating from the House. If there is a great area, Mr. Speaker, through which the House and the Senate have to come into those equitable and harmonious agreements, Mr. Speaker, it is the principal officers that take care of that. And that's why we have principal officers. But stopping Senate bill... I don't think there's any problem with the Senate. Nobody has any problem with the Senate. We just, it's, just in, it's just important that bills that come from this House should receive the same treatment that, as bills that come from, from the Senate. I think perhaps what is going on is a problem of, uh, is an administrative problem between the administrative staff. So, Clark, I'm putting this on you. The Speaker the then directs that all concurrence bills be stepped down until the matter is resolved. The House is also disturbed by the state of federal roads damaged by rainfall. Worried that this existential threat is posing a danger to human safety and causing significant disruption to both economic and social activities. Motorists and commuters are enduring untold hardship and the security of lives and property of Nigerians have been greatly threatened considerably. And like the Senate, the House considers and approves the report of its Finance Committee on the Medium-Term Expenditure Framework and Fiscal Strategy Paper 2022-2024, leaving all proposed parameters unchanged. The House then approves the projected new borrowings of 4.89 trillion naira. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.